Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. In this video, we're going to be covering how to use emissive-based materials in order to help illuminate your scene with base lighting. So let's start that timer and get started. So you'll see right here, I've got a very simple torus knot with a emissive material on it. Let, the most important thing here is to have a properly set up material. Okay, so let's open up the material that I have here. And you'll see it's very simple. I just have a constant color, a uh, constant set to 50, and a multiplied together into the emissive colors. These exact values are irrelevant. The important thing here is that your shading model is set to default lit. Okay, if it's set to unlit, it's not going to work. It's simple as that. So make sure that right here in your def in your shading model, it's at the default lit, not any of the others. Save that material and let's bake the light and see what we get. Now, in the event that you're using CPU light in the mass, you need to make sure that you select your material that has the emissive texture on it. And in the details panel, you need to search for emissive right here. And make sure that use emissive for static lighting is turned on right here. If you're using GPU light mass, you don't need to use this. Now, since I'm using GPU light mass for the tutorial, I'm going to leave this off. Let's open up GPU light mass and see how this looks. And now you'll see, let's move this out of the way. You'll see that our emissive material here actually baked the lighting into our scene. So you can kind of see how it looks. We got these brighter spots around here. It actually looks pretty good. Now, how would you go ahead and increase the intensity of this? As we saw earlier when we clicked on this here and there was emissive boost, this is only for CPU light mass. So if you're using CPU light mass, you increase the intensity, the brightness of your light through here. If you're using GPU light mass, we need to open up the material again and make sure that this value here is set to a higher number. So I can set this to 100 and it'll be a lot brighter. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys how it looks with the intensity set to 100. And just like that, you'll see right away that our scene is now much brighter because we increased the brightness of the emissive material. Now, this may affect the bloom. You may notice that in uh, your bloom, it may get a little bit too intense. You can control this in the post-process volume. So what I recommend doing is turning down the bloom settings. Right here, you may be like, if I set it to default, like, whoa, the bloom's a little bit too strong. Tone that down. It's really as simple as that. Because increasing the emissive value in your material will affect the bloom. Now, folks, that concludes this week's 2 Minute Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.